How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob Six Killer. Welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. It's time for us to finally begin our surfing adventures on the way to Canaclave City. Ah, uh, well, by Barrel. At least it's not a Bidoof this time, I suppose. Although much the same. Let's catch a bunch of water types, fight a bunch of water trainers, and get to a new city. That hopefully is a gym. Although we did just beat a gym. I could definitely do with another gym victory. Because we still got three to go. 23, you say. Oh man. Go fight. Hopefully, it won't kill it. It's not like his tentacles are rare or anything, so who cares? Yeah, kill it. <laughs> yeah, you did. You know, he did. Man, now I gotta catch a tentacle before I leave. That water effect is quite nice. I'm actually quite impressed by that. Can we have a freaking tentacle now? I just said how not rare it probably is, being a tentacle and all. God. Alright, I guess we'll have to take it easy on him. 30. This one's a bit stronger. Go Scorpy. I switched out Hollow Pokemon to Scorpy now too. Because it's the Dorbs. Instead of Goldite following us around. Ow. Uh, Knockoff should be neutral. Oh, you had a Poison Bub. Oh man, I wanted that. <laughs> You're murdering my poor little Scorpy, you asshole. Uh, switch to Golduck so we can catch it. I'm gonna throw netballs at it. Hope for the best. I mean, I could hit it with a water attack, it probably wouldn't die. I'm not that desperate though. I mean, it's a tentacle, it's not a fucking legendary. <laughs> Whoa, tentacle. Its body is mostly composed of water, it shoots strange beams from its crystal like eyes. Bye bye, tentacle. Alright, now can we move on? <laughs> so much faffing about. A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon. How do you figure? Ooh, man -tike. Very cool. I like Mantine. Mantine's a cool Pokemon. Lantern's still one of my favorite water types. I love Lantern. That neutral damage is all it takes. Gyarados, oh man, neutral damage isn't going to be enough for this one. Especially not after that. <laughs> I still don't have anything for you. I'm just going to throw uh, Razor Leafs at you until you give up. Go for the crit. Maybe we need an electric type. That wasn't so bad. Anchors away! Indeed. Well, there's many people to battle here. And berries. Let it rock. It's the rhythm of battle. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it kind of fits, yeah. Lexia kind of fits the whole punk rocker thing. Looks like he's got a big wild beard and hair and shit. Anyway, murder it with an earthquake. <laughs> Nice, come on Scorpy, evolve! Do it for me. Toxic? No, no, no. No. I looked at its nature then. Scorpy's got a craptacular nature, unfortunately, that one. Can you hear it? That's my guitar weeping. <laughs> you gonna fight? You gonna fight, kid? What? So my girlfriend's on the other side? You saved me, thanks. Please take these. Okay. Do I know you? Mr. Mime? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. What? You're remembering the first time we met? This is not an appropriate time for that. Um... You know the cadaver and hit it with psychic attacks. He should resist that so we can weaken him without murdering him. Although cadaver does hit pretty hard. Cadaver do hit hard. Man, Mr. Mime hit hard too. <laughs> Considering. Let's get Psy Shock. Ooh, that hit harder than I thought. For a not very effective move. Synchronize. Synchronize is a crap ability. Well, I mean, it's not a crap ability. It's just not a great ability. It's fine. So many Pokemon have it. So many legendaries have it. Critical capture. It is a pantomime expert that can create visible but solid walls using miming gestures. As you do. Cool. Berry break. <laughs> Alright, berry's all done. Let's go. Hey, it looks like we can go over here. Talk to these fishy dudes. Yeah, yeah, nothing's fighting. Oh, they're just trainers. They're gonna throw magic caps and goldings at me. Five Pokemon? Definitely magic caps. You can tell by the sheer quantity of them. They think that having five magic caps is as good as having one decent Pokemon, but it doesn't really work like that. <laughs> it does not work like that. It's level 26, it could have evolved already. What are you doing? <laughs> no, I don't want my magic art to be a Gyarados. I want it to be a magic art forever. Well, there's a Gyarados. Do you have five Gyarados or four Gyarados? Because I'm kind of scared now. That makes me nervous. It's a crit. You know how you just sat there and used Bite all the way through that, uh, last gym? Sit here and use, uh, Razor Leaf the whole time, we should be fine. Admittedly, that only worked up to a point last time, but, uh, should be right. Another one. Keep the magic caps flying. That's another magic cap on magic my magic cap kill count. My special counter that just counts how many magic caps I've murdered this entire time. <laughs> Nice. 
Sarepta's up to level 40. That's three of them? Oh, he looks sad. Now I feel like a bad person. Outdoor fishing for the win. What? what the fuck is indoor fishing? Shadow doesn't help my fishing any, but shout I must. Outdoor. Where do you go indoor fishing? <laughs> is that like. I don't even know. I don't even know where to start with that one. <laughs> Saying outdoor fishing for the win definitely implies that indoor fishing exists. Is that like when you uh, cut a hole in the ice and build a little shack and you cut a hole in the ice and you fish through the hole? Is that indoor fishing? <laughs> Someone tell me, quick! It's gonna drive me mad. Go for the crit. That's my boy. That's my boy. Oh man, another Gyarados. This is getting silly. I really don't have a decent counter to Gyarados at all. It's one of the only critters we come up against where I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Come on. Come on, Richard. What are the odds? It's very low anyway. God damn. Um, Star Raptor. Here you go. Oh, he's gonna do another ice thing though. That was a bad move. That Star Raptor's about to eat an ice thing. Dumbass. Oh, at least it's intimidated. Still gonna hurt though. Just a uh, quick attack. End him. End his reign of terror. My poor Torterra. Gah, this is hurting. Hits me right in the wiener. Sip. Oh, a jar of honey. Nice. There's a way across from over there. I didn't even notice that. That's a different way around. Man, I just, I just did it dumb. I did it the hardest, slowest way possible. Sounds like my emo, real. <laughs> Bobby, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see, so I've chosen this spot on a hunch that you passed through. Bobby, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, was I supposed to put the software here? Ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Looks like your Pokedex doesn't need upgrading. It already lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokemon. Technology sure has improved lately. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the professor. I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic. The Professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilife City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Fucking helpful, thanks dude. Oh, this place is nice. Oh, this is the place that has the move relearner or whatever. Anticlave City Cargo Port. The move relearner and move tutor guy and all that. They live here. I remember spending a lot of time here relearning moves with heart scales and stuff. Back in the olden days. Back in the olden days of 2008 or whatever. Whenever this game came out originally. Alright, later, potato. I need to find me a gym. Oh, great. Whoops. Oh, hey, Bobby. You're gonna challenge the gym leader up ahead, huh? Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge. And that someone is me, with my brand new gym badge. This guy's completely fucking delusional. <laughs> he has no idea what's going on. <laughs> you're deluded, mate. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna hold back then. We 
We're going at this properly then. Well, one double team and you're starting to avoid attacks already? Oh, this is gonna turn into dickery if I can't get rid of him. It's gonna turn into serious dickery. Yeah, dude. Next! <laughs> Your dickery ends here, Mr. Staravia. <laughs> Rosalia. Alright. Let's think very carefully about this. Zyraptor. <laughs> She did quite a lot of damage considering. So it's not fully evolved, it's not very effective on top of that. And Cyraptor's a beast to boot. What do you got? Heracross. Whoa, a Heracross? Dude, where do you find that? And why did you put that against Staravia? Or Staraptor or whatever? Are you insane? This is going to be four times effective, and it's already deadly. <laughs> Why would you do that? You just didn't like your Heracross very much and you wanted to punish it. Whatevs, man. Sandstorm? No, thanks. Weasel. How's that not evolved yet? What up with that? Uh, seems like it'd be best if I just stay in. Good close combat. Star Raptor's just wiping everyone out for us now. I said at the start that Star Raptor was gonna end up being MVP because it's kinda OP. Star Raptor's kinda OP, man. We've gotten out of tighter slots than this plenty of times. Monferno. Is that a fighting type yet? Because if it is, you're in serious trouble, Dave, my friend, Mr. Bruce. Let's find out. It is. It is indeed. <laughs> Very nice. Agility? No, I do not want you to learn that. Cadabra? Wants to learn roleplay? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpy grew to level 34. Scorpy wants to learn something stupid as well. No? Okay, we're good. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? You say that every time, dude. I really like the expressive emotion they gave him, though. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me, as usual, but listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guess right, it's going to be me. Anyway, you should be able to take on the gym leader here. Now hurry up and get to it. I need to heal first, you just... I just fought you. I'm not sure to give you props or anything, but you know, you did hurt my Pokemon a little. Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna smash through these gyms. Whatever's left. Catch ourselves a... Palkia... no, Dialga. Catch ourselves a Dialga and a, and a Giratina and then... Beat the Pokemon gym... Uh, the Pokemon League and uh, become champion and you know win a win a chicken dinner. All that. What do they do here? Water? No, we've done water already, haven't we? Fighting? Ah, we'll find out. Oh, this is like a shitty puzzle gym. I know they're all puzzle gyms, but this is like a shitty puzzle gym. Oh, steel? Fuck, that's not good. Oh man, I am not ready for this. Staraptor, it's all on you, man. <laughs> Steel. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Totira, you got this. Oh, we can handle it. We can handle it. I was worried, but 
Ah, I think we can handle it. I want a Steelix. Where's my Steelix, asshole? Tell my Onyx to be a Steelix already. By trading with me. Dude, you went for an Ice Fang? Scary business. Razor Leaf should end him. It's neutral. Ah, oh, fuck. Fortunately, Steelix's attack power is quite low, and also no stab on Ice Bag. Down you go. It did make me nervous though. I never gave up, but still, I failed to win. Because I don't want to kick Onyx out of my team. I'm enjoying having Onyx in my team. You know. Pokemon Gym isn't only about seeing how tough your Pokemon happen to be. It's so much deeper than just that. It's a test of you as a person. Oh man, I probably failed then. <laughs> Alright, Gary, let's do this. Six sideburns. That's not a steel type, stupid. <laughs> it turns into one, but it's not one at the moment. Trust me, I got one of those, I know. <laughs> Well, that makes Razor Leaf a lot more effective, at least. So that's cool. Take that, Gary. If that even <laughs> is even your real name. That move was devastating. Thank you. Mm. Oh no. It goes up and down. An ace has the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to a noob like you. Oh, oh good. You show this noob how you do. Teach me great sensei. Teach <laughs> Oh, Scorpy. Nice. Do I want to stay in? In this earthquake? I mean, it's unlikely he'll survive that, but nah. Let's get creative. <laughs> Sotera's been pulling all the hard work out here. It's a, again, it's a shame we don't have a fire type at all. Fire types would be so good right now. I put, need to pull Cadaver out for a fire type. Realistic, that's what I gotta do. Where's my Hound Doom? I need a Hound Doom. You may notice a pattern of me really liking Dark type Pokemon. <laughs> it's because I'm so edgy. <laughs> so edgy right now? You guys? No Stone Age, please. Iron Tail, I can handle that. It's a crit. You did. Wow, I'm in the mood to sing a lullaby. Wait, what? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand. You making fun of me? <laughs> you want me to see my Star Raptor after you and your family? Oh man. Nope. <laughs> Hello. Pokemon and people have worked together for many years. I'm going to share an example of that history. Good idea. Gerardo. Mm, more Onyxes. I'm guessing that the gym leader is going to be using a Steelix then, at least.
Oh, why do I use Earthquake? Oh well, it's super, still super effective. I should have saved my Earthquake, so I should be using Razor Leaf on this guy. Plus it's four times effective, and Earthquake's only two times effective. Sorry, my brain had a fart. My brain farted. I'm nervous that we're gonna get beaten by this gym leader. We haven't been beaten yet in the game. Like we've had occasional Pokemons being knocked out, but we've never actually been defeated. And I'd like to think that we get through the game without being defeated at all. Because I'm... That should be hard. Having type matchups is really the, uh, the most important thing. You know? Ay -ah! We're coming out swinging with he super heavy judo chops. Lots of black belt guys, but they're using onyxes and shit. Onyx can't use judo chops, it doesn't have arms, stupid. <laughs> How can it use a judo chop when it doesn't have arms or hands? Answer me that, Richard. Wait, what was your name again? It's Richard now. David. No, it's not David, it's Richard now. Your name's Richard now. Deal with it. Alright, now we go. Earthquake. Honestly, if there's a steel type I'm scared of having to face, it's something like Bronzong. Steelix is, you know. I like Steelix a lot. I always use Steelix. I used to use Steelix in my main uh, online PvP team. But, Steelix isn't really that good. <laughs> His defense is through the roof. Don't get me wrong. The Bronzong is so threatening. Or Metagross. Now, Metagross is a threatening fucking steel type. Metagross scares the balls out of me. That was a complete thrashing. I love Metagross. <laughs> He's super scary. I'm nearly there. Man, these gyms are getting real uh, roundaboutsies, you know? I don't want to leave to go and heal. But I focus on only one type. You can really see the strengths and weaknesses of that Pokemon. Yeah, mainly the weaknesses. Because all of your challenges are not restricted like you are. That's not focusing on one type, you moron. That's not a steel type. That's, that's kind of the opposite. It's a fairy type. Razor Leaf. Azumarill is another very threatening Pokemon though, not gonna lie. Very scary. Very scary. My focus was too narrow-minded. I don't know man, you're not really- you're kind of bucking the trend here. The whole Steel type trend. Even more so than people that reuse Onyx are, because at least Onyx evolves into a fucking Steel type. But your Azumarill is never going to be a Steel type. It's already in its final form anyway. Ah, that's Ouroburg City's uh, Ouroburg's gym badge. I see, I see. You've defeated my son. But it's no surprise he still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rock, I, Byron, will accept your challenge. Man, talk about nepotism. That's how you get to be a gym leader around here. It's not what you know, but who you know. <laughs> Shut up, Byron. Oh man, Bronzong. I knew there was going to be a Bronzong. His last one's going to be a Bronzong, I know it. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm going to really, really hope that this thing isn't levitating. God damn it. Ah, trick room. I mean, that's alright, I'm pretty slow myself. I might go for a synthesis and then I'll just start biting again. I'm neutral, I'm, I'm immune to sandstorm, I'm a ground type. So, you know. All good. He's setting up though, he's setting up a whole bunch of bullshit. Trick room, sandstorm. 
Oh man, the sandstorm did re reduce my synthesis effect. Did forget about that. Oh dude, what is with this fucking bronzor? He's out here just to mess everybody's shit up. I mean, yeah, it's super effective, but it's such a weak move in general, you know? What was it, base 40? Maybe base 60? I think it's base 60, I don't even know. I mean, it still worked, I guess. Putting my giraffe on was ready to roll. Hit him with an EQ. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Man, they did nothing to me. That was pathetic. And you get stabbed on that. How sad. Let me show you a real earthquake. <laughs> but that's how you earthquake. Oh, cool. I'll get to go first now. Not that it matters. <laughs> Can we snap out of our confusion now, please? Alright, Sandstorm's gone. Let's go for a synthesis. You can't beat me because I can just heal, fool. Now what are you going to do? Heal again. Better him with an EQ. No. Gonna stop me healing, huh? It must be the plan, right? Stop healing, asshole! Stand stop. Alright, last one's gonna be a bronze song, right? That's what I'm expecting. Nice, good work, Scorpy. Evolve, would you? Oh, what's this? My last one? This is where we make our stand. Bastiodon. Oh man, I was worried too. Jeez. Get ready to get fucking destroyed. <laughs> Four times effective earthquake. In the sand. Lucky you got sturdy, my man. You left the worst till last. I, I was more scared of the bronzer than I am of the bass you know. <laughs> oh, he's a special attacking bass you know, as well. What a world we live in. We're not done yet. There's no giving up. Nearly had earthquakes. We gotta replace Cadaver with a fire type. That's the plan. My sturdy Pokemon defeated? Apparently. You were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this. The Mind Badge. Mind? <laughs> mind Badge? Having the Mind Badge enables you to use the hidden move of strength from your Pokech any time. You now have six gym badges. That means all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you without question. Here, take these two. Thanks for the stickers, dude. <laughs> Each TM91 contains Flash Cannon. Could be useful. Could be useful. Not for any of my actual team right now, but... Flash Cannon definitely has its uses. Um, is there a quicker way out of here? <laughs> oh, I see. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. 
Wait, can I have just gone in that way? Hey, that's the mine badge. Good going. You're even tough enough to take a shot at becoming a Pokemon champion. Of course, I'm tougher. I think I just proved that you're not on the bridge. So that's not actually going to happen. Anyways, Bobby, come with me to the library. Okay. Which one's the library? This one. Oh, we'll do this before we wrap it up, I suppose. Because we got to save in a Pokemon uh, center, if we can. Where the hell did he go? He needs to take his medication. He just moves around too quickly. That's the problem. I can't keep up with him. Hey, Bob, you over here? This way. It's Cynthia, right? Is she up here? No. It's Rowan. Okay, Gramps, I brought Bobby, like I said. And now I'm out of here. Okay, I get it. Hmm. Everyone's finally here. Listen up. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokemon that evolve, and others that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. There is said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. Oh, not those ones. If we could obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who was it that bolted from my lab before I had a chance to give them one? Th that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you becoming a better trainer too. You can count on me. It will help with my Pokedex too. Bob, you go too, won't you? I would have made all of you go regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Will do. Bruce, I want you to investigate Lake, Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh, I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps, you know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hottest. Hotness. And that leaves Bobby with Lake Vela. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful, I'm concerned about the city. What do you mean? That was only a baby earthquake. We get those all the time. <laughs> Bobby, hurry along. But beware of aftershocks. We get earthquakes so regularly around here that I've got a fucking thing on my an app on my phone to track them. <laughs> well, that tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kids, something big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that. Whoa, just like that? So someone stood there and went kaboom? Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. That Bruce can't sit still. Bobby, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what's taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We'll try to join you as... As soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You'll be okay, won't you, Bobby? Yeah, I'll be fine. Calm yourself. Alright, we're gonna wrap this one up here. Because we're out of time for today. Very much so, but I guess in the next one we're checking out Lake Valor. I guess. Even though Bruce just went to Lake Valor, but... I'm sure it'll be fine. Our score piece still hasn't evolved, but we have six gym badges now. I think we got one gym badge in the last episode and one in this episode, so that is getting pretty quick. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.